play. Hey everyone, welcome. It is Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, Independent Couturier with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you're catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left-hand corner. Um, make sure you say hello. Again, want to say hi to you right here. We can chat on Facebook. And again, if you're catching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. I would love it if you would share this video. So I am super excited. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hope everyone's having a great day. For those of you that are new, welcome. Welcome to the page. I'm excited to have you here. This is a fun new DIY company called Chocotour. So let me throw this up on my screen for you. So what is Chocotour? We are a home business decor and crafting opportunity, and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have silk screen reusable transfers. We have Chalkology Chalk Paste, and we have our Couture inks, which is what we are using today. We do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frames. We have some whiteboard surfaces. We have some really really, really awesome wooden cutouts. And then you can do this on so many other surfaces though, guys. This can be done on wood, tin, glass, walls, dry erase board. You can do this on pillowcases, dish towels, t-shirts, and the list can go on and on. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you, hi Nikki, hey Laura Lee, is a DIY home decor business opportunity where you are able to get this amazing kit for just $99 if you are in the US and $129 if you are in Canada. And you guys just really, really, this has been an amazing almost two years coming up for me. I love our products. I love what we have to offer to people. So with the holidays coming up, if you are interested in earning some extra income, maybe you're looking for a career change, please give me a hashtag join. I would love to add you to my private opportunity group. So super exciting, you guys. We are going to be making some t-shirts today. Now, I have to tell you, I love my DIY t-shirts. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to stand up a little bit. This t-shirt here, oh, wrong way, I made. I made this one that said blessed and another one that says thankful. You guys, I wear them all the time. I love that we have our couture inks and you can make these really, really awesome t-shirts. So let's get this started because I am on a short amount of time. First and foremost, you're going to buy your t-shirts. Now check this out. From Walmart, you guys can, oh, I guess I shouldn't say that, but whatever. $4.44 for these t-shirts, you guys. Seriously, crazy great prices at these t-shirts, and they wash really amazing. Obviously, you can see I didn't wash mine first. That is entirely up to you, but let me get this gosh darn sticker off of here because we really don't want to ink on that. So I've got my t-shirt already. I just want to make sure I've got my kind of my tag, so to speak, right in the middle there, okay? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this really cool ink mat, you guys. So this is a product that we do offer at Chocotour. These are all reusable as well. So I'm just peeling off this sheet right here. And then this has a sticky side. I don't know if you guys can see that. The sticky side is the side that is going to face up. All you're going to do is take this. I like to kind of, I fold it in half with my finger inside so it doesn't stick together. And we have a different size in this as well. So like if you're doing baby onesies, if you're doing like a dish towel, or obviously if you're doing a smaller t-shirt, because this is a large, this is for me. Um, we do have another one that's kind of cut apart, which is really, really awesome. So I'm just going to stick this in this t-shirt. And I want to show you what I love about our ink mats. Now, if you wanted to use a piece of cardboard in there, you totally can. But I'm going to show you like the cool feature of what I love about this. So. I've got that inside there, right? This is my favorite part. So we've got that adhesive side sticking up and then I'm just gonna take my hand, you guys, and I am gonna smooth this out so that I have this nice even surface that I'm gonna be able to ink on, okay? So that is the beauty of these ink mats is they give you the option to get this really nice surface that's flat and smooth and then it is also going to hold your fabric in place. 
So like when you're using cardboard, like I said, it works. I used to do it all the time. But um, sometimes when you're doing things, it can start to like move around and whatnot. So this is going to give me this nice flat surface. So check that out. You see how nice and flat? It's kind of like I ironed it, but I really didn't. Okay. So then I'm going to take one of our amazing silk screen transfers. Of course, it's coming for the upcoming holidays, right? Check it out. You guys, on the back of all of our transfers, the directions are right there for you. So it tells you how to peel, apply, fuzz, remove, heat set. And the heat set is when you're using ink. So we're going to do that. And then you're going to clean up your transfers. You usually can get anywhere from 8 to 10 uses out of one of our transfers, which is really awesome. Okay, so that's what I love about it. There's no weeding. There's, you know, not a, trying to get those little pieces out. Everything is all detailed within the silk screen area, which is super awesome. Hey, Jeannie, welcome. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write on the back. Look, guys, I got my marker finally. You want to write on the back of your carrier sheet because there are two sides. And I'm going to give you a little trick tip that I tell everyone. You're going to take your finger and you're going to rub this over the edge to get it started. Do not pick at your corners. Okay, rub your finger over the edge. I flip mine over and I remove my carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, if you choose to not write on the back, there are two sides. There's a shiny side. I don't know if you can see that. And a matte side. The shiny side is the side that your transfer goes back on. And then you're going to take your fun little transfer and you're going to put it where you want it. I kind of use like my tag and then, you know, obviously there's that little V-neck here. There's like a little niche in there. I kind of use that as my center. If you want to measure and all that, go for it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go with that. And they usually turn out pretty good. So how is everybody doing on this Wednesday? Tell me what you're doing today. I would love to know what fun things are you doing on this Wednesday? It rained here this morning. And then I have a leader call here at 1230. So I kind of have to hurry up and quick get this done, right? I'm going to go with that. And you don't have to fuzz your transfers up when you're using it on fabric. And then you're just going to smooth it out. So there's no bubbles in your silk screen. Now, I always go a little bit harder on my fabrics just to make sure I've got all those cute little edges down. Okay. If you love this, make sure you give me a share. Give me a hashtag boo if you share the video. Laura Lee, thank you for sharing, dear. I appreciate it. But give me a hashtag boo. And you guys, make sure you check out my page. I'm doing a little giveaway on my page. Um, someone's going to get some fun happy mail. All you have to do is follow that link. It should be one of the first comments you see right on my page. So make sure you check that out. All right. So I think I'm good there. I'm going to be using our ink. And our inks come in three or three ounce jars. I'm going to be using white and black. Super simple, super easy, you guys. Your inks, you usually, oh, sorry, you usually do not have to stir them up. That one, I think I'm going to stir up the white, only because mine have been sitting a little bit since we moved. So I just want to, yeah, I'm going to stir that one up just a little bit. But you usually don't have to stir your inks up. They're usually a pretty great consistency. And I don't, I don't think I've ever added water to my inks, just an FYI. FYI. All right, so I'm going to take my squeegees. I'm just going to use our mini squeegees. You can use a small squeegee, whatever. You know what? I think I'm going to use a small squeegee. Oh, just want to make sure that's all down. Okay, now the inks are a little bit, you know, you don't have to worry about the drying as much because they take a little bit longer to dry than the chalk paste. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to make sure I press applying pressure and smoothing that across my silk screen. Now with the inks, you guys, try to get your lines out so you don't see any. And like I said, you're applying pressure to get that into the silk screen. It doesn't matter if you go up or down, left or right, totally does not matter. But just think of all the 
fun t-shirts you can make. Like I love my t-shirts and it's also a great conversation piece if somebody says, oh, where'd you get your t-shirt? I made it. Oh, where'd you make it? Oh, I'm a designer with Chalk Couture. Best company ever. Ever, ever, ever. Who loves to decorate for Halloween? I know I do. It's one of my favorite holidays, although being in this little transition, it's kind of been a little different, but it's all good. All right, you guys. Okay, just pulling that across my silk screen. And I've got my heat press off to the side. Now, you guys, when you're done with this, like I said, this is going to go right in the water for cleanup. And I'll show you what, I'm, what I use. Simple, easy. You could totally put this in your sink if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. Um, I use these little tins that you can buy at your local markets just so they're quick and handy. But some people just throw them in their sink. Okay. Any excess goes, again, back in your jar. Squeegees are all washable. So this is the little tin that I use to clean up my transfers in. Obviously, the larger ones, I just use a larger tin. So when you're ready, make sure you don't have any ink on your fingers like I do because you don't want it on your shirt. The inks are made to be permanent. And then we're going to heat set it so that it is permanent and then you're able to wash and dry. So remember, top to bottom, left to right, never corner to corner, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look, I miss doing this so much. I'm so glad I can go live again. Check it out, you guys. How stinking cute is that? Do you not love it? Like, that is just so, so cute. Now, I need to be able to heat set this. Hold on a second here. I've got my... To turn my heat press on. Now you want to make sure you heat set this so that it's permanent and you can wash and dry. There's a couple different things you can do to do that. Number one, you're gonna you can use an iron. So you don't need a heat press. If you have an iron, you will iron it on both sides for four minutes. Now you do want to make sure you take out the ink mat. Okay, you're gonna want to take the ink mat out. And you just pull it up just like that. If you had a hair dryer, you would totally dry this. Oh, you know what? My hair dryer is there. Hold on one second, you guys. Let me turn that off. Um, get my hair dryer. I'm going to dry this up. Uh-oh, I think you froze here. Hold on one second, you guys. I got a phone call. Let me stop that. Let me see if I can get you back really quick. Hold on a second, you guys. Stay tuned. I'm bringing it back. Bringing it back. Let me get you back here. All right, there you go. Oh, I think I hit the button. Technical difficulties. It happens. Right? With this internet and me lately, I've had some technical difficulties, but we got it. We got this. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit this with my hair dryer if it was plugged in. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me get this plugged in for y'all. Hot mess express here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry this up. Just a little bit. And when I use ink and a hair dryer. I like to use mine on a cool setting, you guys. Sorry about that. There we go. Hey, Margaret. Welcome. Hey, Patricia. So, Patricia, a lot of my stuff is, um, I have some stuff behind me over here that I kind of commonly use. And then the rest of my stuff is actually, are, uh, they're in crates. So I have to go in and out of my crates right now until we get a bigger RV. Because we just have a travel trailer right now. I don't know what you have, but we're just in a travel trailer right now, but we're changing it up here shortly. All right. 
So you can use your hair dryer to dry it a little bit. You just want to make sure it's not like super tacky. And then you're going to take this out. Okay. And again, I like to fold it. It just tends to be easier when you fold it to get it out. Just like that. So yes, you can have a DIY home decor business on the road. You guys absolutely can if you are an RVer. Okay, so this, if you have any ink like this on here, water. You guys only clean these up with water. You just get a little bit of water, you wipe it off, and you let it dry. Okay, and now what you're going to do is to make this heat set, you're going to get some parchment paper. You're going to put a piece on top and underneath, and then you're going to iron it on both sides for four minutes. Okay, if you have the heat press, this is what a heat press is. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> this is a Cricut heat press. You will set this on 350. You will hit it on both sides for 30 seconds. And that's going to do a, um, that's going to heat set it for you and make it permanent. But like I said, if not, just an iron and parchment paper, both sides for four minutes and you are all good to go. And that is how easy it is, you guys, to make DIY DIY graphic tees. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? And what? It took me like all of 10, 15 minutes. So if you guys are interested in learning more, please reach out to me. You can ch shop my website at chalkingwithjen.com. If you choose to learn more about the business opportunity, just give me a hashtag join and I will send you the link to my VIP group. And if you want to be a customer of mine, I do have a private VIP group where I've got some fun little sample bundles in there available. Um, I also have some fun things coming up for the fall holiday season. So you guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry about the little IT issue there. Hopefully we're going to get this fixed super soon and I will be talking with you soon, guys. Have a great day.